Hello and welcome to Someka Six Sigma Calculator Template. This tool helps you to measure the level of quality of a process. This tool has two different ways to calculate your data. Simple Calculator and Advanced Calculator. Advanced Calculator has two sections for measured data. And another two sections for counted data. And there's the reference table for Six Sigma levels. This is where you see the data used on Six Sigma calculations. We don't recommend making any changes here, but if you use a different set of ranking, you can insert it here. So let's start with the simple calculator. First, choose your data type from the drop down list. Then enter the total number of units tested, number of defects, and opportunities per unit. Then your results will be calculated automatically. Let's choose the continuous data type. Enter the average data, standard deviation, and set the upper and lower limits. And the results will be calculated automatically. Let's continue with advanced charts. You can use two different data types for calculation. Measured data and counted data. Let's check the XMR chart first. Enter your target value here. Choose the unit type and indicate the lower and upper limit. And you can enter measurements for each sample. After you enter all your data, the charts will update itself accordingly. So let's give an example. If there are any data points that are not within the specified limits, they will be indicated in red. Like this. You can see the X chart here. The blue line represents the measurement of each sample. And you can see the exact value once you put the arrow on the dots. And the yellow line represents the mean value. And the red ones are the limits. And the MR chart represents the value difference between the samples. And you can also check the statistics table and the data distribution diagram located on the top right corner. If you choose to measure a sample multiple times, you may use X bar R chart. Like the previous section, enter your target values, your unit type, and set your lower and upper limits. Then enter your measurements for each sample and the X bar and R chart will be formed accordingly. Let's give an example. X bar represents the average value of a sample and the R chart represents the difference between the highest and lowest values of a specific sample. And the input area can be extended up to 10 measurements by clicking the plus sign button here. If you have countable data, you may use the p-chart and u-chart. Let's start with the p-chart first. In this section, you can inspect the defective units in a lot. Enter the total number of units produced, then enter the number of defective units for each day or each lot. And the defective rate will be calculated automatically and p-chart will be formed accordingly. And lastly, we can use the u-chart. This is similar to p-chart, the difference is you indicate the total defects instead of defective units. Let's give an example. Let's enter the total number of units produced and enter the total defects that occurred. As you see, the u-chart updates itself accordingly. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check our other templates at someka.net.